Today is Holt's first day back in his office, and I want to make sure everything is just how he left it. Now, I can't remember, was this little figurine of cheddar at a 45 or 50 degree angle? Terry, it's a five degree difference. You better figure it out. Ah, oh, I miss this place. Huh, little cheddar's askew. Really made yourself at home, didn't you, Jeffers? But uh, no matter. It's glad to be here. <laughs> I am a captain again. Back where I belong. Everything is perfect. Wow. It's absolutely nothing that could puncture my... Where's the business card? What? The business card that was right here. It had a piece of gum on it. It was very important to me. You didn't throw it away, did you? <laughs> no, Terry would never throw away something that looked exactly like trash. Good, I'll be back in a half an hour. Make sure it's on my desk by the end. It will do, sir. I got it. I'm on it. I definitely threw it away. I want you to meet the guys. This is Nathan, Josh, and Chuck. It's my buddy, Sean, from prison. How's it going, fellas? I've never heard you mention Sean before. Yeah, well, like you said, I just got out of jail five years. Tough sentence. What'd you do? Elder abuse. Got my grandpa good, so. Damn. That's very upsetting. Damn straight it is. Elder abuse? I was trying to think of something that wouldn't inspire any follow-up questions. Doug Judy! Pew! <laughs> <laughs> Son, I'd like you to meet the man whose private jet we are flying on today. Yeah, you're Mark Cuban. How do you guys know each other? Doug came on Shark Tank to pitch his idea for the smush shush. It's a noise casting blanket for secret sex. The product demonstration did not go well. Rubber fainted. Anyway, enjoy the jet. Just bring it back in one piece, OK? No promises, Mark Cuban. I mean, we do want to make sure the airplane stays in one piece, though, right? Nah, I saw a flight. If anything goes wrong, follow the plane upside down. Oh, right, I forgot about flight, the movie Flight. All right, let's rip it up. What's going on here? Oh, measuring the space. We finally got a work order approved to fix the outlet, so we can get a third vending machine. What? A third vending machine. Why are you whispering about getting a new vending machine? New vending machine! What model number? Oh, that's why. We asked you, what model number? I don't know, a normal one with glass on the front. Seriously? Did you even look into the DigiSnack 600E? I'd be into a fancy machine, too. I was just reading about a Japanese one that serves shellfish. We're not getting a shellfish machine. Yeah, Boyle, we're getting a smart machine that suggests soda pairings based on your chip choice. Or one with a make it wet gravy feature. Ugh, okay, look, why don't you get a few options together and then I'll decide, okay? At least Terry's not here to try to make me get a yogurt machine. What was that about yogurt? This jet is insane. There's a private chef that'll make anything you ask for, no matter how expensive. I just ordered lobster enchante. Oh, damn, what's that? I don't know. I just said the fanciest words I could think of. Ooh, I'm gonna get the veal prime minister. Mmm, that sounds good. Hey, you wanna try out the smush shush? What? You have one with you? I take it everywhere, baby. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. So it's noise canceling? <laughs> it's so heavy. It's crushing my bones. Yeah, that was the shark's problem with it, too. I can't breathe. Get it off me. Get out of here. Yeah, you sound exactly like Barbara right now. <sighs> Disappointed in you, Jake. Pilot says we're starting our descent. Then let's get changed, boys. Changed? But these are my coolest clothes. I got them from a targeted Instagram ad after looking at photos of Cam Newton. The outfit is beautiful, but it doesn't really say Miami. What does say Miami? <laughs> Sure, this is culturally okay for me. We're gonna find out. All right. Come on, check your body, baby. Do 